Henry George Bond was a British publisher. And in 1855, he wrote a handbook of proverbs. And one of the proverbs that was inside of his book was this famous proverb. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Now, when you investigate this proverb, there are many versions of it that appear throughout the centuries. One definition is, you know, it's the intention to engage in good acts, but it often fails. And it points us to the idea of a principle that there is no merit in good intentions unless they're acted on. If you want to find a definition of intention, it would be a thing intended, an aim, or a plan. You can find that in Webster's, the definition of intention. And I believe that there are more plans that are conceived in our heads and are trapped in planners and notebooks and text threads when they need to be implemented step by step and day by day. See, the road to hell is paved with good intentions means that there is a prison of indecision and the way to escape the prison of indecision is to maybe go your own way. Welcome to the Stephen Thompson Experience. My name is Stephen Thompson and this is my experience. I'm here to use history and music to make connections with the goal of informing and educating and inspiring others to go out and live and serve and love others around them. And hopefully together, we can do our part in making our part of the world a little bit better. You Can Go Your Own Way is a song by the British American rock band Fleetwood Mac, and it came from their studio album Rumors, which came out in 19, 1977. And it was the first single released on that album. And it was written and sung by Lindsey Buckingham. It was the band's first top 10 hit in the United States. Go Your Own Way has been well received by music critics and was in fact ranked number 120 by Rolling Stone magazine on the list of 500 greatest songs of all time. Then again in 19 and 2021, I mean, it was re-ranked at number 401. Go Your Own Way was written at the band's rented house between when they were touring. And the song was written when a couple of the bandmates who were dating were breaking up. So Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham were breaking up. They were not going to date anymore. And that's where it came. You could go your own way. So the idea of leaving, departing, going your own way, going in different directions, attempting to change. You see, we want to attempt to change. We want to get out of a situation that we don't feel is benefiting us. So we make the decision to go our own way, to change to go from unfavorable circumstances and situations into favorable circumstances or situations. And an individual who did that was Moses Roper. Moses Roper was born in North Carolina to Henry Roper and Nancy. His mother was a slave. In fact, at his birth, Roper's wife when noticing his complexion and realizing that her husband had fathered a child with a slave, she attempted to kill him at birth. But Moses' grandmother prevented that from happening. Now, between the years 1821 and 1829, Moses was sold several times to different slave owners not liking the situation of slavery, Moses was determined to gain his freedom. So he made several attempts to escape. And each time he attempted to escape, he was caught 
and he was severely beaten. In fact, one time he talked about having a 25 pound chain put around his neck and then tied off with a piece of iron. And somehow he managed to escape from that. But then he was caught again and he was severely flogged and then chained at nighttime with a 40 pound chain. But that didn't deter Moses Roper. In fact, he was able to escape one more time. He was able to cross two rivers and make it into Georgia. And then because his skin complexion was so light, he was able to put together some paperwork to say that he was free. And then he was able to make it to New York. And when he got to New York, he decided that the only way he was going to be free is to leave the country. So he decided that he would leave the United States. So in November of 1835, he went to England. And when he got to England, he was helped by abolitionists. And he was able to get into school. Then he became an active member of a church. Church pastored by Dr. F.A. Cox. And in 1837, he published a book called A Narrative of the Adventures and the Escape of Moses Roper from American Slavery. It was published in England, and then it was published in the United States. And he wrote about his slave narratives and his time of slavery. And then he also gave anti-slavery speeches around Europe. He got married to an English woman in 1839. He had one child. And then in the 1840s, he moved to Ontario, Canada. And he would return to London on several occasions and continue to give speeches against slavery. So Moses Roper didn't just have good intentions about wanting to escape slavery. He acted on those intentions, and even after failing several times and enduring the pain of those escapes, the pain that meant discouragement, it could have discouraged him from trying again. He continued to try, and at the end of all of this, he escaped and gained his freedom. So he went his own way. Here are some of the lyrics. Go your own way. You can call it another lonely day. You can go your own way. You can go your own way. You can call it another lonely day. Now, it could be tempting to say that going your own way could be a form of independence when we should be looking to form a community or to rely on the guide of a wise sage or the advice of others. But in fact, it's more nuanced than that. You know, going your own way means that you are going in a spirit that was given to you. There's a Bible verse that comes to mind. 2 Timothy 1.7. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. So the self-discipline it takes to make your own decisions. In fact, our decisions can have negative consequences. You know, we hope and we pray for positive consequences, but we don't go into a decision or event planning hoping to fail or even attempting to gain a negative outcome. But it does come. Often it comes. So how do you respond? Well, Moses Roper knew that slavery was not where he wanted to be, and it took him years to get out of it, but he did. Now, you may be somewhere you don't want to be. It could be in a situation. It could be a circumstance. But know this, it takes time and effort and maybe even some defeats, but we can come back from them. Now, it could be that it's time to pursue a different course of action, or it may mean that you reset and continue going down the same path. Either way, you still need to make a decision and decide to go your own way. The way that you carve out, and hopefully it is the road that you believe, will take you in the direction you wish to be headed. We should always consider the consequences of our choices before we make them. Now, that isn't being fear-based. That isn't negative thinking. It's wise, and it can lead to informed decision-making and better decision. Indecision is overcome by implementation 
and intentions need to have action associated with them in the form of implementation action steps that create forward momentum. So a few questions for you. What are you going to implement this week? What will you be consistent in doing? Who will you show up for? Go your own way. Thank you for listening to the Stephen Thompson Experience. I come here to educate, inform, and inspire. My hope is that you will decide to lead with the skills, gift, and competencies that you possess. Check out my website, The Stephen Thompson Experiences. It houses my blog, this podcast, and a way to purchase both of my books. Two novels. The first one is Aquafunkapus and the Macrocosm of Mayhem. And the second book, which is called Up the Nose and Back Out Again, Fall in Love and Save the World. And my YouTube channel is back. Each week, I'm going to be talking about coffee and creativity, and then be back here next week to hear more episodes of the Stephen Thompson Experience. Thank you so much for joining, listening. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.